onto the front foot. Criticised last time around for starting too tentatively. And Hellenius also showing a flicker of aggression early on here, as he did against Deontay Wilder when he was eventually beaten in a single round in his attempt to win the world title. If he doesn't finish this impressively. He needs to be aggressive, definitely, with, with someone like Hellenius, and he can't fight at a slow pace. I've known Hellenius since, since the amateur days, and I know he doesn't like pressure. The thing with someone like Hellenius taking this fight on seven days' notice is you want to zap him of any confidence. The more round this goes, the more confidence he gets as the time passes. You have to put a dent in the middle. That's a good left hook from Anthony Joshua, but he needs to start putting these punches into combinations now. Like I said before, jab the body right hand over the top. Just put pressure on him. It's clearly the quicker of the two. But as I've said before, he cannot let Robert Hellenius get any confidence. If that's the case and he does, you've got to... <laughs> Hellenius doing a good job of keeping him honest because he's just showing that little right hand. He's even flicking it and twisting it a little bit, just show, fainting like he's going to punch with it. See, he's just keeping Joshua a little bit hesitant. I like how Anthony Joshua is thinking. He's thinking about the attack he's trying to set up. He's trying to set traps. Like I say, these feints, these little shimmies and, and the moves he's doing with the head and the shoulders. He's trying to draw something from Robert Hellenius that he can counter over the top with big. And that attack from Joshua followed some boos and whistles in the crowd here. And they came at the halfway stage of the third round. The jab was working well. Be busy with your jab. Double it. Go to the body. Good right hand. That's a shot. Hellenius felt that 100%. Drives Hellenius back onto the ropes. How now does he follow up? Can he call on the old Joshua? The meanness and the intensity. In goes the two on it. He's trying to fail you a little bit more. Boom, boom. I see you trying to get the angle, but he's not letting you get it. Shove it, shove it, you can get it. You've got to be prepared to go all out immediately sometimes, and I just. I just want to see him get close and let them four or five punt combinations go. Looks like he's got a bit of intent about him now, but Tony, you know, he... oh, good right hand, hook to the body right hand. The longer he leaves Hellenius in there, the more chance Hellenius has. The longer oh. he's in that ring, he's always got a chance with a heavyweight. He can always punch, catch you with one you're not expecting. Get him out of there as soon as you can. At six foot nine and 17 stone, nearly 18 stone, he's dangerous, Andy, and you do not want him in there any longer than he needs to be in there. Is there in the, the legs and the veins of Hellenius? Joshua now drives him back once again. Good job from Josh. I'd just like to see him maybe throw a dummy, give a little bit of a feint before really going for it. Step the feet close, feint, jab, then big right hand through the middle. Nice check out from Hellenius. Follows up with a double jab right hand. Another jab. Seems to be bouncing a bit now, Andy. Finally. Good jab to the body. Keep it going. In his head. Well, here he comes. He should let your hands go now. I think he's there and. Don't know. Don't, don't wrap up with it. Keep shot, keep shot, keep shot. Listen, you gotta keep, you gotta rock it down. Don't do that. Huh? 
Good job. Yeah, you've just got to come in straight away. Have the confidence to let the right hand go straight after the jab. Is he struggling to land the right hand because he's struggling to commit? He's struggling to get the feet close and throw the right hand. That's the key, Mike. And the jab, yeah, you don't have to get the feet closer with the jab. You, you can just slightly lean in and still connect. But to get the right hand, you've got to take that extra couple of inches step in. As I say, he's just grazing him there once again. And go find it, he's just got to commit to it. Helene is slowing down now, not a spot in his, in his footwork. That will give Joshua opportunities. But that's what I was talking about, the bounce. You know, the little bounce in with your jab, and it, you're already in distance then, you just got to turn through with the right hand. Nice pick and return. They're saying to Josh, you got to block his jab. That's what I think's caused the swelling on the eye. Good count. As I said, he's a sneaky counter puncher, Hellenius. He's fighting a really smart fight. Robert Hellenius is, is, is not a mug. Oh! oh that's that's a Just as he said, he was struggling to find the range. I told you. He lands the conclusive right hand. And in an instant, it's all over. I said he was capable of this. He jumps out of the ring. I said he was capable of this. Most definitely. Looking initially to demonstrate against those who criticised him last time around. This time, he's found the finish.